Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D3500 and Nikon D5600. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D3500 and the Nikon D5600 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 29th of August 2018 and the 10th of November 2016. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D3500. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5600. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D3500 and the Nikon D5600. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D3500. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5600. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D3500. I recently switched to this camera because modern digital cameras lack the manual control I wanted. This camera allows me to adjust focus, aperture, shutter speed, and more. It's a bit overwhelming at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's great. The ability to switch out lenses is a big plus. The JPEG images are clean and crisp, and the battery life is good if you remember to turn off the Wi-Fi. Overall, it's a steal for the price, and I highly recommend it. I recently purchased a high-resolution camera that integrates well with my computers and software. I'm not a photo expert, but I'm enjoying taking reference photos and textures for my 3D models. It's easy to use and can grow with me by swapping out lenses. I'm a happy camper and will be using this camera for a long time. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5600. The upgrade from the D5200 to this camera was a good decision, but I was disappointed that Lightroom wouldn't transfer the RAW files. I'm still figuring out a workaround, but for now I can only use the JPEG files. Hopefully, Lightroom will release an update soon. Other than that, it's a great camera and a good next level from the D5200. I absolutely love the D5600 camera. It's lightweight, user-friendly, and has a great flip-out screen that makes it easy to capture shots from different angles. The picture quality is excellent and it's perfect for my travel photography and home business needs. Overall, I'm really pleased with this camera. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D3500. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D5600. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 